Everybody uh, in the kitchen now with Christine, the happy cookie lady, makes the most wonderful cutout cookies. She's booked for Christmas baking, but she's, you know, might be able to do some of your other uh, uh, birthdays, weddings, and things like that throughout the year. So uh, good to see you, Christine. You too. You've got how many Christmas trees? I put up 10 every year. 10 Christmas yeah. trees. Oh my goodness. Are you crazy? Yes. <laughs> so I've been told. <laughs> oh, she's got lots of grandchildren, so I'm sure they are wowed by them, huh? I know our, our granddaughter Lillian took her first steps towards our big tree in the in the front room. So, oh, yeah. very, very <laughs> cute. So what are we making today? Well, we're going to do a teddy bear ice skating party cake. Oh, very cute. So. I did part of it off camera because it does take a little bit. I baked up two nine-inch rounds. Okay. Um, either vanilla or or white okay. works best for this because then it won't show through the, the frosting. Okay. I took one tub of frosting and used that to frost in between the layers and the sides, and then I patted on about a half cup of, of coconut. Okay. And then I, I let that set for okay. a while. And what we're going to do is we're going to put on the ice skating ring. So this is just, again, uh, Christine always makes her home, uh, frostings and things for cookies from scratch, but you could certainly um, just pick up a can of vanilla frosting yeah. and then yeah. you dyed that blue. Whatever colors, you know, whatever um, but we're brand you a, like. Making an ice skating rink in the middle. Okay. So that's why it's blue. That's why it's blue. Blue ice. to make it round you know just sure not the whole top but just um, as far as we can towards it you know okay. towards the edge because we want to leave a little gap for the ground so we're gonna frost that up good okay I need a little something to wipe the knife on for the next color here you go forgot about that okay and then we're gonna do the the white around the edges okay and this, I'm using my own frosting that I put into these containers just because, Molly, well, why buy it when you got all the stuff at home to make uh, it, right? Right up to the... So that's the tricky part, though, is just to not... The edges. Yeah, yeah. the edge. And if you blend, blend them a little bit, you know, you're going to have ice and stuff in the, in the uh, grass anyhow, so... And what we're going to do, we're going to start lining the edge of the... Um, the ice okay. with these M&Ms, kind of like they have around a skating rink. Oh, okay. So it's almost like a fence? Yeah. So okay. You, you can do that. So these are blue, blue M&Ms. &Ms. And that's something we always have in the bakery because I decorate a lot of my cookies with those. So. Okay. This is fun for the, you know, the older kids to help with. They can I know help. They love to get in. My daughter does anyway, you know, in the kitchen and help. And I always say, you know, so much more than uh, about the food. It's just really about the memories. And that's how you sign your cookbook. Yes, I do. Cook up memories. I've got one of those. Uh -huh. Okay. This is why I did the other part of the cake. Uh, I'm a lot better at frosting cookies than cakes for some reason because I can hold it oh, in my hand. Oh, you're doing pretty good. I can hold it in my hand and I can twirl it around a little bit easier than I can a cake. Okay. And then once we get that done, we're going to take a um, ice cream cone. Excuse me, just uh -huh. a second. And then we're going to frost two of those with the green frosting. And so we want the sugar cones. The yeah, the, sh the pointy ones. Okay. Is that what they're called, the sugar cones? I think so. Those are my favorite. Yeah. I like them, but they don't hold as much ice cream. <laughs> 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 That's the other kind. They taste better, though. Yeah. I'm gonna frost that up real good. I'll probably get frosting all over my fingers because I'm not putting it inside like that. So I'm we're supposed basically we then uh, colored some green frosting too. Yeah. So you need um, three, two different food colorings: the blue and the green. Okay. Now that you can see how long this is taking us. I mean, it's it's not going to be that long to decorate a whole cake. The main part is takes longer to bake it than it does to frost mm -hmm. it. So. And after I get How it did you do it? this? Just uh, add the perfect amount of M&M. Did I? Yes. That was sheer um, <laughs> luck. I will take no credit for that. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to do a couple of the sprinkles on there. Oops. Okay. I almost got myself a couple of the little sprinkles on there. 
decorate the Christmas tree, right? Yeah, and then I, I dusted it with a little bit of powdered sugar, and I use an old tea strainer to do this. And this is going to kind of give the snow? Yeah. Just kind of effect? How cute! Okay, we're going to... Is that enough snow? Yeah, that's good. Oh, you know what? Don't want a blizzard or what? <laughs> and we're going to take and put a couple of these along the edge. We just smashed your fence. And this one I did before. And then for our little skaters, we have some Teddy Grahams that we're going to put on there doing the skating. Now, if you wanted to get really fancy, you could take the decorator gun and you could put, you know, a little scarf on the on the little guys and that sort of thing. Oh my gosh, that's so cute though. And that's easy. I mean, really yeah. easy. I easy. mean, the kids would really enjoy helping with something oh, like this. So cute. Then we got to put a little bit of snow over I it. think so too. Christine, this is adorable. And we'll put uh, kind of the recipe or the method, I should yeah, say. Yeah, it's more this. of a method than uh, anything else. On the, on the website, fox11online.com. Click on the living tab and recipes and they'll be right there. Christine's going to stick around and make the cutest ever. One of those big uh, cookies that you you know pay big bucks for out at the bakeries. We're going to show you how to make a snow globe cookie that is perfect for this holiday season and super cute. So stay with us.